Hi friends, now we are going to talk about any, what are the different transaction codes that are executable for a particular user. So what is the transaction code to do it? So this is the transaction I will show you again. S underscore BCE underscore 68 whatever. Uh, I will again highlight it so that you can see. Okay, and if I click on status, system status, and I'll highlight it here and you can see. This is the transaction code. So I'll just copy this. I'll add it to the mm, to the to the description. Now here I will execute. Now here it will stop in debugger because here I don't have the authorization. So I'll play with debug with change and I will get the authorization. So you can discard this portion of this place this video so you can say size of RC I'm just changing it to zero okay and now if you um, now I'm executing and here you will see all the transaction code that I am that I have authorization with okay so that would be fun because you can see so many transaction codes that you are that you have authorization and some you don't have so once you get the list and you can use this for another user so you can see all the transaction codes that I have authorization for which will which will be essential and this is the way to get it so that's it stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a